A circuit breaker is something that acts like a switch that only becomes a switch when the circuit becomes too hot. So it actually becomes a safety measure to turn a switch off. We're gonna make one today with a balloon. And the goal is going to be to cause the balloon to pop to break the circuit. Here's what you need, a balloon, two batteries, two battery holders, a variety of wires, steel wool, and scotch tape, and a light bulb holder. Before you get started, you should test your batteries and your bulbs. Now, if the bulb does not go on, that means that either the battery or the bulb needs to be replaced. We're gonna start hooking things up the normal way that you would make a circuit. Make sure that your batteries are the correct order, so positive and negative are lined up in the battery holder, and are in the right order. Positive, negative, positive, negative. Attach everything else almost all the way, but not quite. Troubleshooting is all part of the process. You've got to figure out what's going on and why it's not working, and you have to find little tests to do along the way to make sure everything is still working. We know that our two battery light system is working. Let's add the fun part, the circuit breaker. I'm gonna disconnect it, and now I'm gonna work on my balloon part. I am going to add a couple of thin strands of, what is this called, steel wool. Tape them to the balloon. And the goal is for these to get hot and to pop the balloon. And I kind of want to have a little bit of extra on either side so that I can um, clip my wires. Constantly be checking. There it goes. All right. When I put them together, the light goes on. Okay. Great. So now comes the fun part. Here's my balloon. Here's the steel wool that I attached to it. To this steel wool. And steel wool is metal. So that means it is a conductor One to this. Light is on. And another important thing is to have this wire pretty thin. If I add additional wires, I'm going to add them to here and here. The point of a circuit breaker is that it will pop the circuit. It'll turn it off if it's short circuits. There we go. Okay, it worked. So you have to figure out how to short circuit it, how to basically cause too much electricity to flow through those wires so that the balloon pops. All right, see if you can do that yourself.